so happy. Like, honestly, I'm. Right, so this is the second video that uh, myself, Andy, and this young lady never have done. Oh, leather, I just called leather. <laughs> it was leather. Hi there, folks, it's uh, Andy and ID again. Uh, and after the pre rank failure in the first video, we're um, doing something completely on the opposite end of the scale this time. Last time you saw us, we were fishing heavy baits and jerk baiting for pike, uh, and we came back with a big flat zero. So this time, other end of the scale, we're driving up to a beautiful part of Derbyshire to try and catch some wild trout on the dry fly. What do you reckon, Ivy? I really hope so. It's my birthday tomorrow. I never caught a wild rainbow, so I really want to catch a wild rainbow trout. Interesting what Ivy said then, in that the river we're going to is pretty much the only river in the whole of Great Britain that has a population, a self-sustaining population of wild rainbow trout. It's called the River Y. We're, we're really lucky to be members of a, a club called the Peacock Fly Fishers Club. It's a great club. They do day tickets as well as, as, as full membership. But it's very, very clear water. And as I say, it's the only place where you'll find these wild rainbows in the whole of the country, which is super cool. I think shortly we'll see how beautiful it is there. It's so stunning. It's a pretty spectacular place, but we've got a little bit of a drive to get there yet. So we'll um, put a foot down and we'll see you guys down by the Well, that sucked. Um, <laughs> it's just taken an hour and a half to do a 25 minute journey. Um, there's a really bad accident on one of the roads, which I feel a bit guilty about. It's a massive inconvenience. I hope you're okay. But I also hope you understand your cost does fishing time. But we are here. We're going to get it together. We're not going to get it together. We're not going to swear. Are we not going to swear? We're not going to swear. Okay, you can cut those out. We're going to put our boots on. We're going to get the rods rigged up. And hopefully, it looks like it's about to rain but hopefully the rain keeps off and we can show you a few fish at the very least we'll show you some really nice water yeah or catch a fish hopefully we'll catch a fish this time <laughs> let's do it supposed to be having sex right now, dude. What are you doing? Now I regret letting you fish this pool. <laughs> so Yevra and I had just been kind of sat watching it happen and all of a sudden there were flies in the air. And this time of year we're looking for like a large dark olive. So we tied on something that roughly imitates it. And we came to this pool, it looked fantastic. We made a couple of speculative casts and then a fish rose on the far bank. Brilliant sign, obviously. So um, Yevra being 
best woman in the world let me take shot on this one and what we've got is probably one of the rarest creatures in the UK it's a wild rainbow trout and there really is only one river system where you get these things that's right here in Derbyshire let me lift him out absolutely gorgeous remember this isn't a stocked fish this isn't something that's been grown up in a pond as you can see from the way it's kicking me oh look how it's pretty that is kicking my butt <laughs> look at their colors that is 100 percent <laughs> that was a totally wild rainbow trout you quite like the water <laughs> Hopefully we get a chance to show you another one. Oh well, it doesn't matter. That's really freaking cool. We got one. You idiot. <laughs> The fly is not on. Just to make it clear what happened there. Um, Yeva's done really, really well to hook a big brownie. Really, really good fish. Um, came out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, and it beat her up pretty bad. And the knot slipped. She's not very happy. Is it a tiny rainbow? Tiny rainbow. Oh. So, we all have seen by now what happened to you <sighs> in this pool about two minutes ago. It was pretty sad. It was a really nice brownie she hooked, but you can't land them all. Anyway, she was kind enough to let me fish the rest of the pool, and uh, hopefully, this one doesn't jump back in. So we've got another one of those little wild rainbows. Absolutely gorgeous little guy, look at that. Totally wild. <laughs> and very lively. So we'll, uh, we'll not let him around too much. We'll get him back in. There we go. Go on, buddy. Well done, babe. Another wild rainbow. Is it your turn now? wasn't recording. Oh, oh I'm sorry babe. Is it still on? Andy fished, he got a few. Um, I was sulking and then Andy insisted that I have a go again on a similar looking pool like when I fished earlier on and what maybe about 10 casts in, I didn't give up and I hooked I think even bigger fish than I lost earlier on. It's just starting to rain now as well. Oh, it's so pretty, honestly. It's so beautiful. It's so, so pretty. Hold on, I don't want him to be tangled. It's so pretty. Look at that. Look at those spots. <laughs> Look at that fish. 
unbelievably beautiful and the fly is out as well now <laughs> oh that is my birthday trout so I brought my net here because the water is a bit faster I don't want the fish to get stuck in uh, the reeds or anything such a beautiful fish honestly I can't tell you how happy I am Honestly, I'm so so happy. <laughs> it's so wet, I'm like a damn soaking wet. Oh god. Ah, uh, jeez. It's got miserable out there. <laughs> <laughs> so we were fishing along quite happily, and then, jeez, it's raining. It's gone very cold. But pretty much the end of the day, anyway, so. No massive complaints. I thought that went pretty well. That went so well. It was difficult, you know, we're fishing a dry flowing stretch of water. And while it was a pretty decent hatch of large dark olives, we saw very few fish actually break the surface. It was one of those days where rather than targeting rising fish, which is really easy, um, it was a river craft day, knowing your riffles, knowing what kind of water they're gonna be sat in. Um, and interestingly, we found two pools that were very similar and you have a big fish in both of them. Yes. And, you know, little nymphy riffles, 18 inches, two feet, uh, lots of space. There were big fish in those places. Yeah, yeah, there were big fish as well. But like, I mean, we, I, I didn't think we were gonna do that well when we, for, from the first half an hour since we, yeah. like when we came in, because we saw little to no action. It was there pretty were, bleak, wasn't it, yeah, when we first got here? No flies hatching, there was no fish rising, there was nothing happening, so I thought we, we did really well. Well, I think you did very well. I think that was mission accomplished. That is birthday brown trout birthday par excellence. Brown trout. <laughs> um, we're going to go back, get showered, get warm, eat some food, and probably have a little glass of wine tonight. A bottle. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. We'll try and make some more videos soon. In the meantime, if you would subscribe to the channel, that'd be really nice. We'd appreciate that. And we'll see you on the river sometime. See you later, guys. Bye bye.